Alright, so I've reached my campsite for tonight. It is June 21st, 2011. I am about five miles south of Florence, Oregon. Today has been a spectacular day. The views have been amazing. Absolutely amazing. It has been on the cold side pretty much the entire day. I wouldn't say that I haven't experienced cold, uh, you know, most of this trip. But today it was, it was consistent. It was cold. Uh, through the whole day. I stopped on numerous occasions just to get hot chocolate and warm up a little bit inside. Other than that, you know, my gear is holding up fine. My bike's running strong. So, you know, things are looking real good. Uh, I plan on staying, I think, I think I'll plan on staying in Astoria tomorrow. I'm going to kind of map it out, see how far it is. Um, I did about 260, 265 miles today, so not not a strenuous day at all. I'm feeling real good. Um, so I'm gonna set up camp, um, walk around a little bit, enjoy the amazing scenery, enjoy you know this time you know being in the forest. So yeah, I'll set up camp. I'm gonna gather some firewood. I think probably first and foremost because I can set up in the dark. So I'll gather up some firewood and and um, go from there. All right. All right, I gotta say these woods are a little freaky even during the day. So I'm gonna do my best not to uh, cry myself to sleep in the fetal position, if you know what I mean. Anyway, you check this out. I've gone a couple of feet from my from my campground. And, you know, it just gets so thick. Anyway, so, like I said, I'm going to try to man up a little bit and, and uh, make it through the night. I'm, once again, I'm all alone in this campground. And, you know, I'm glad that I put myself to the test once already in the past. And, uh, yeah, this place is a little bit more spooky. Man, they have... Oh, they have the biggest mosquitoes here. So I'm using a little, uh, mosquito repellent. To fight back. Those things suck. Literally. Anyway, we'll see how that works. Yeah, I can't get over how beautiful this place is. 20 bucks. I mean, it's not a KOA. It doesn't have the amenities. No shower. It does have a bathroom. But it has privacy, too. It's kind of cool camping alone. It uh, can be a little eerie, a little unnerving at times, but for the most part, it's pretty dang cool. It's already 8.20 and I'd like to go to bed in the next hour or so. Uh, so I'm going to fetch some water for dinner. Making spaghetti. Alright, so this is my setup. It's my stove. Get the uh, gas and burner. This little nozzle turning it up and, you know, on. So we'll turn it on. Light that puppy. She's burning. And you put your water there on top and so yeah we'll just let it get to a boil and we have some dinner yeah so I got my uh, water's about ready to boil got my fire going tent set up I'm looking pretty good tonight all right so it is now 9 p.m still semi bright my fire didn't really stay lit all that long even with the gas just because everything's so wet um, good news is I did get my food cooked and so I'll be having spaghetti tonight and I'm quite excited about it this time I got a fork a couple of days ago in fact when I was in Big Sur I tried eating spaghetti with a spork um, that was difficult and not very fun at all. So happy, happy to say that I now have a fork 
to, to eat my dinner with. Um, let's see, today, let's talk about today. Today I started in Eureka, California. Um, very, very cute little town. I, when I was coming through it, I stayed on the, on the far north side of town. When I was coming through it, I was having some technical problems with my camera, so I wasn't able to really film any of it. And in the morning, I had intended to go back through town, you know, just drive through it once or twice and, and, uh, and get some pictures. However, that, it didn't happen. When I left, I just totally spaced it and I, you know, headed north, so... Yeah, that didn't happen. You know, the whole Oregon coast has just been beautiful. You know, it's been very, um, very entertaining, I guess you could say, um, to watch as I was driving through, you know, town after town and seeing coast and then up into the mountains. It, you know, it, it varies a lot. You know, one, one minute you'll be right there on the coast and then you're going to shoot up into the mountains. And, and when I say mountains, you're probably only a couple of hundred feet up in the air is all, but you know, you're you're riding along these cliffs, and then you're in the middle of a forest, and and it's just been it's just been spectacular. So it's been uh, quite an experience. Of uh, you know, been enjoying every minute of it. All right, so it looks like I ran my battery down almost completely. So anyway, thanks for joining me on my ride today. Uh, I had a great time. I hope you did too. Uh, I'm gonna call it a night. You know. Um, Day six in the books, day seven tomorrow. Stay tuned.